Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Baby Echo and I are doing well. Thanks for asking. All right, it's foundations time. So we're going to start with our warm up. Let's make sure that we really take our time and know all of these vowel sounds. A apple a, a safe a, a acorn a, a wash a, a squash a, a Alaska a, e ed a, e p e, e me e. I itch i, I pine i, I high i, I animal i or a, uh, I champion e, o octopus a, uh, o home o, o no o, u up a, uh, u mule u, u rule u, u pupil u. You flew oo. Why cry I? Why baby E? And next we will look at our R control team. R control. R controls, where are you? I bet you guys already know these without the poster. Here we go, do them with me. A R car R. O R horn or. E R her er, I R bird er, U R burn er. Nice job, everyone. And let's pick a few standard cards to these rules. O S T post oast. Remember when Baby Echo looks at you, you echo me. Repeat after me. S H ship sh. S snakes, S bugs. What letter sound? Dun dun dun. Z, the Z. Okay, my friend. Nice job on the warm up. And we are going to get into some marking practice. So I need everyone to grab paper or their whiteboard. Your choice. And you're going to be copying down a whole list of words that I have. Then you're going to take your time and mark them and read them and check them to mine. Okay, do you have your writing utensil? Do you have your paper or whiteboard? Here we go. I'm going to hold up these four words. Please copy them down. If you wanna pause the screen here, you can. Copy them all down. Okay, and here's what I want you to do. You need to scoop the syllables. Go ahead, scoop them. And mark the syllables. And I want you to mark any closed exceptions. Actually, take your time here. I'm going to do mine so that you can check yours. Make sure you pause and do it first. It's only going to hurt yourself and your own learning if you don't do that. Okay, so this is one syllable. It's closed in. What does the word say, everyone? This. Remember, these are make-believe words, just to really have you practice. Okay, I'm going to scoop the syllable. It's closed in, but wait a second. OLT, I'm gonna box it in. That's a closed exception. So I mark off the C because it's an exception and I know the O says O. Remember this one right here? Closed exception, OLT, Colt, Olt. So what is this word, everyone? Prolt. Okay, let's look at our next one. One syllable, it is closed in, but ah, ILD, I recognize that as a closed exception. So I am going to go ahead and cross off the C and box in that glued sound. 
and put my long I. What does the word say? Scryled. How many syllables in this word? Strop key. We have two syllables. Let's look at this first syllable. Here's the vowel. It's closed in, so we know it's a short O. Ah, but my brev. And then here's our second syllable. This is the time where Y is acting like it's a vowel. So this is open, and we say it's a long Y. How do we say this word? Stropki. That's kind of a cool word. Okay, let's go ahead and erase those words, or if you did it on paper, you can just move over a little bit to a new spot. You don't need to erase them, but if you did it on your whiteboard, erase. Baby Echo's my eraser today. Thank you, Baby Echo. So kind of you to help me. Okay, and I have four more words for you to copy. Take your time. Make sure you're gripping your pencil or your marker the right way. Just a reminder, you should be pinching and making a table underneath. It's important you do that so that your muscles in your hand are strong enough. In fourth grade, you're going to be writing some really long writing pieces, so you need to have those muscles ready. Okay, once you have these copied down, same thing. Mark the syllable um, and any closed exceptions. I'll give you a moment and then I'll mark them for you to see. I'm watching you. If you need help, look in your student notebook to help you with those glued exceptions. If we have any here. Okay. How many syllables in this first word? Well, how do I know? I know that there's two consonants next to each other, so sometimes that's a spot to break up the syllables. What's the first syllable? Yeah, it's closed in. What's this next syllable? Oh, look at that. It's a vowel consonant E. So that means it's a long E, and we don't hear that one. How do you say that word, everyone? Infreep. Silly word. Okay, here's our next one. How many syllables? Scoop it. Just one. And it's closed in. And look at that. It is a glued sound. It's ung, like U-N-G, long ung. But it's not an exception. It's a normal one. The U says ah. Uh. So what is the word? Chung. Very good. Okay, our third word. Scoop it. It's just one syllable. It's closed in, so it's short. What is the word? Proft. Good. And what could you do if you didn't know how to pronounce some of these? You could tap them. P -r -a -f -t. Proft. 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 Good. Remember, the quicker you tap and blending them together, the easier it is to produce the word, pronounce it. All right, last one. Let's scoop it. It looks like it's a vowel consonant E, so it's a long E. What does it say? I'll tap it. G -er -e -p. Greep. Greep. Okay. Nice job, my friends. If you did it on a whiteboard, you may erase now. Or you can put your paper aside. Okay. So we're going to do something we have not done yet. It is involving your student notebook. Here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to open up to, hmm, page, let's do the digraphs. I'd like you to open up to page two and have it out. And I'm going to say a sound, and then you are going to repeat and point to it. If you don't have your notebook with you, you can just write it down. So repeat after me, wuh. Point to the letters that say wuh. So if you have your notebook, you should be pointing to what? WH, that's right. If you don't have your notebook, then you should just be writing WH. Let's do another. 
What are you pointing to or writing? TH. Thumbs up because TH thumb. Good job. Okay, let's turn now to the glued sounds page. Looks like this. Repeat after me. Ing. What letters? I-N-G. Very good. Repeat after me. Onk. What letters? O-N-K. Repeat after me. Unk. What letters? U-N-K. Good. Now turn your page. We are going to turn actually all the way to page nine. So this is the same as the poster when I did the warm up. Let's practice this one a little bit. Ah. Uh, which vowel says ah? Yeah, in wash and squash, the A can. You see that on there, the wash, the squash? And it also kind of sounds like octopus, the O. Good. Can you find me any sounds that say E? The E, like in Pete. Mm -hmm. What else are you pointing to? E, like in me. And E, like in champ E on. Very good. Oh, you're right. There's one more. The baby. Sometimes Y says E at the end of a word. Baby. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's close that up. And we are going to end with just a couple of words that I'm going to have you write. Okay. So get ready to write on your whiteboard or your paper. It's up to you. And repeat after me. Pre-wash. Think about how many syllables. Write them both. Check it to mine. Let's scoop the syllables. Let's label them. Look what happened here. We actually have that sound, that schwa sound in what ah, uh, ah, uh, sh. So it doesn't sound like a apple. It's not wash. It's ah, uh, wash. Okay, a little bit tricky. Let's try one more word. This word is going to have one of the prefixes we've learned. Construct. Let's say the two parts of the word. Con, struct. So do the prefix. And then if you need to tap out struct, s, t, r, a, k, t. Get all of those sounds. And then tap out what you wrote to make sure it sounds right. Construct. Great. Scoop your syllables and mark them. And check yours to mine. How'd you do? Did you construct the word correctly? What does construct mean? Can anyone think of a synonym or a word that means the same as construct? That's right, to build something or make something. Give me a sentence with construct. I'm going to construct a bridge out of my blocks today. Cool. What other sentences can you come up with? Nice. All right, guys, nice job with your words today and your sounds. I'll see you next time.